When somebody says they're selling 100% worm castings, is that true or just kind of snake oil? We'll get to that on today's episode of Coffee and Compost. My name is Steve Churchill, and this is the Urban Worm Company. The question I get, mostly from prospective customers, is if our worm castings are pure. In other words, do our worm castings have anything other than worm poop in them? They're probably trying to compare our castings to a competitor who is claiming that their product is 100% pure. So before we started working with our current supplier, Worm Castings, we used to make our own here at Urban Worm HQ just outside of Philadelphia. We pre-composted spent brewer's grains and wood chips in an aerated static bin before using a Michigan Soil Works CFT to make our Worm Castings, which were a lighter brown color than most of our customers were used to. We also had flecks of grain hulls and tiny pieces of wood chips in our castings. We screened our castings to about an eighth of an inch, which is as fine as you're gonna see on the market anyways, and these little pieces has still got through. Now we started working with the trusted supplier once we started selling way more than we could produce ourselves here. Their castings were much darker and much more uniform in texture than our own. Their castings certainly looked more pure than ours, and because our input material had way more stuff that just doesn't break down fully in a worm bin, it probably is more pure than the stuff we made. But they didn't claim to be making 100% worm castings because such a thing doesn't exist. Real quick guys, if you're enjoying this video and want me to make more of them, go ahead and uh, like this video, hit subscribe, click that little bell, and that lets you know every time that we release a new video. Now back to the topic. There's no such thing as 100% worm castings. You've got products that look pure, but when worms and microbes are consuming organic waste and fragmenting it into tiny particles, some of the end product that makes it through the screener is bound to be something other than worm castings. But don't take it from me. Take it from Tom Herlihy, the founder and former owner of Worm Power in Avon, New York, one of the largest vermicomposting operations in the US. On more than one occasion, I've heard Tom joke, although it really isn't even a joke, that to get pure worm castings, you'd literally have to attach a baggie to the butt of every worm in your operation. That's ridiculous, and it's pretty impossible. And I'm not even sure you'd want 100% pure worm castings anyways. Vermicomposting happens in an ecosystem. This organic waste, like I just said, is being consumed and fragmented by microbes, microarthropods that shred the organic matter, and yes, the worms. The magic of worm castings is the biology, and the excess non-worm poop organic matter in worm castings continues to provide great biology for the microbes. So when you see someone saying their castings are 100% pure, I wouldn't go as far as to say they're lying because they probably think their uniform dark end product is 100% castings, but I can guarantee you it's not. Guys, the Urban Worm blog is a comprehensive resource for vermicomposting, and the queen bee of my blog post is the ultimate guide to vermicomposting, and it's a doozy of an article. I'm not going to ask you to go read it right now, but you can download the PDF version of it. We cover the basics of vermicomposting, how to start and maintain a worm bin, the financial opportunities in vermicomposting, and more. Just click this little link above my left shoulder and you can sign up to get that guide immediately. Thanks everyone. We'll see you on the next video.